This is Andrew Freeman, uh, MD from the Denver Walk with a Doc program. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about regrets. One of the questions I recently received was, what should I have done earlier, or what do I wish I would have done earlier um, to prevent heart disease? So there's really two things. One, most people tell me that they would love to incorporate physical activity into their lifestyle much sooner. It's a lot harder for them to do later in life, and if you can get into the habit sooner and when you're younger, it's a lot easier to keep that habit up because you're already used to it and it's not a huge stretch to go from uh, no activity to lots of activity. The second and most common thing that I actually hear is diet. Most people tell me that it's too hard for them to change their diet much later in life. You know, if you've been eating a certain way, the meat and potatoes, typical American diet for 40, 50 or more years, it's hard to suddenly change. However, um, most people would readily switch their diets if they knew that it might result in disease later in life. So, for instance, eating a more plant-based, whole food, low-fat diet might result in less diabetes, heart attack, stroke, and even sometimes of cancer, believe it or not. So people very much want to incorporate this, and the sooner you can do it, the sooner you become used to it, and it's easier to incorporate into the regular lifestyle. So in short, eating plant-based and whole food and low-fat exercising regularly, and working on stress relief are the number one things that I hear people wish they would have done a lot sooner to prevent disease rather than doing it after a heart attack or some other disease manifests. So I hope that helps to give you some perspective and help you make some changes and motivate you to do so. Otherwise, I hope to see you at our next Walk with a Doc. More information at njhealth.org slash walkwithadoc. And otherwise, stay active, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.